Welcome back. Oh, should probably take this off. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're gonna get you really good with that thing. Uh. <laughs> Welcome back to Taco Tour. So we're at the first location, which is Taco Sinaloa. This is a loud ass part. Huh? Loud ass part chain going by. <laughs> I know. Oh, actually. That's what happens when you film outside, folks. It always works against you. <laughs> That's all good. But uh, we're, out, we're out here in Oakland and uh, second, 22nd and International, I believe. And. Uh, this establishment is actually pretty big, huh? It's yeah, like, it's huge. They have like two carts outside. They have like yeah. an indoor thing. Yeah, two good sized trucks outside and they have an actual indoor location where people used to dine in before the pandemic. And they got this cool like, you know, like kind of porch veranda spot too. Yeah. It's so romantic. Exactly. Oh, romantic <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we asked for the best ones they have and uh, they said carnitas and fish. And it looks like the fish is like chopped up, which is new to me, I think. I don't think I've had a fish taco that's chopped up. And the carnitas has like a, a red kind of salsa, uh, double white, ye double yellow corn tortilla, cilantro, cebolla, and the fish is, it has like a salsa, kind of like a tomato, cebolla, cilantro, with jalapenos possibly and double yellow corn tortilla as well and radishes so you know out of the the first two trips i did with you this is the first time i've seen them include carrots uh so i've i've seen that they, they do that a lot they, they usually do pickled carrots and uh -huh. pickled jalapenos i don't know if this is pickled this one might be oh no this is like roasted <laughs> this is a this is a, roasted <laughs> that was a big what? truck that's backing up and, um, <laughs> 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 Forces always work against you when you shoot outside. <laughs> hey, you should wait. <laughs> so, oh, does it work like uh, the radishes where you just... It's like the more of an after tasting, you take a bite at the top of them. Um, what, the way that I grew up is that you'll bite some of the radish, you know, while you're eating the taco. Mm -hmm. so, it's, so same thing for the carrot and the uh, yeah, for the carrot and usually yeah. I mean, you could mix 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 and match that. All so, right, I'm gonna go with the fish one first. Which, which one are we doing? Fish. Yeah, since right. that's the new one. Let's do fish. Let's go. I like the size already because you know we've we've uh, understood that the size of the taco is also. Makes it a more pleasing taco, right? Like yeah, for me, yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't want to see uh, any close-ups of me chewing on this food like the other two videos. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Is it hot, you? That's really good. That is pretty solid. It's. It's really like little fish nuggets. Tender. I like the tortilla that... I don't know, this certain, this certain tortillas is just... It just tastes a lot better with tacos. And this, this is the one. Well, what I like about these tortillas is... Like some of the other ones we had. Mm -hmm. I feel like I taste the tortillas over the actual taco ingredients, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but here that's not the case at all. It's kind so of like, you know, a, it's a role player of this one. It's not taking, it's not taking, you know, front and center attention. It's really all about the fish and the tomatoes, and I love that. Yep. Like the fish, mm -hmm. it's like grilled perfectly. Yeah. You know, you just got just a little bit of that grilled flavors. Okay. Crispy on the outside, but super soft. I'm making my little spoon of carrots. <laughs> Forgot to get spoons. <laughs> we got this though. We're professional eaters. Remember? Hmm. Man, Filipino. Here's my hands. Man, I did not disappoint at all. That was that was beautiful. 
It's like a appetizer in a way. <laughs> Is there like perfect size? Best tacos I've had in the the last two times I've gone out with you. Really? Yeah. Mm. I mean that cabeza from the last one from Los Perigos last time in San Leonardo, that was really amazing. Oh, plus you haven't tried the the fish tacos from I think what is it, uh, Sunnyvale or somewhere over there? Super we, good. You know, this is this is my first legitimate fish taco. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the only fish taco I've ever had before is like Rubio's, which is oh, obviously it's like the God. McDonald's. Yeah, so nah, bro. <laughs> so. Not really a taco, bro. <laughs> exactly. So this is the first legitimate one I had, and it's amazing. Yeah. No, nah, I wait till I take it to the other spot. Psh, blow your socks off. Yeah, my mind has been blown. <laughs> <laughs> no more Rubio's for this guy. <laughs> All right, carnitas next. All right, looks nice and crispy. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> oh yeah, flavorful. I like that these are a little more crispier. I don't know. I like I like crispy stuff. It adds a texture, you know? Mm. Yeah, that's a good carne de taco. Yeah, I'd have to agree. But the... The salsa the, is not overpowering. The, the crispiness, crispiness is at that, that layer of texture. Wait, man, I wasn't about to make my point. <laughs> you went right over. <laughs> Trying to agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I what I was saying. What are you saying? <laughs> no, I agree with you in terms of like um, the extra crispiness of it. Firm, it actually works here. It's really good. And well, what I like is with their seasoning, it's not, it's not overpowering. It's mm -hmm. just like just the right amount. Mm hmm. Mm. Man, yeah, this is a great start. Mm hmm. And they give you a good amount of the meat too. You know? well, They're not stingy here. That's the perfect, perfect amount right there. Mm. Honestly, those two tacos already, I could I could see myself eating maybe two more and that would be like the perfect lunch for me. Because I'm a fat ass. I could eat. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And it's not too pricey either, two fifty each. That's that's pretty pretty reasonable. No. Yeah. yeah. Cause like what I've noticed too is that sometimes it's not good to give too much, you know? Just get give enough but make it quality like those bites two, two two bites right two three bites but they're gonna be top-notch bites every time <laughs> oh, that was so profound indeed. i'm sure everyone out there was just so impressed by those words right now all right can't wait to go to the next one Let's see.